Woo! 30th! Hello guys, it's me, the Larson Fade 842. Today we are at Texas as as Eddie Benzie has won the poll. This is for the cup the truck race at Texas. Three races left in the season overall. Let's work, look where your chasers start. Mac, Eddie Benzie first. Um, Logan Yeto fifth. The Bossman seventy eight seventh. I was looking for anyone in the back. Yeah, I got Brian Ferris third. I saw. Or, yeah, third. Yeah. Um, Sebastian Kukulon for life ninth. Marty Flattery tenth. I'm thirtieth, so I'm definitely not going to the front for a while. I think I got everyone. Yep. Um, Jason fifty six beat your Roblox. Can he go back to back wins? He starts second today. But um, yeah. This is. Are you guys ready for this? We are so close to the end of the year, and I told you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a cup season. And the top four are going to move on to the championship four. And all four of them are going to win prizes. So I, I think I told you this in a live stream. Here, let, let's start the race and I'll tell you more. In a live stream, I was thinking about this for a while and I finally agreed to it. So here comes the t Who's behind me? I don't even know. Green flag, 37 lap race. 24 laps of fuel, so we definitely got a pick. Let's do that. All DST Productions. I'm gonna go way high here coming off the corner. Almost got squished by the 10. I got a huge run. I'm gonna make it three wide. Oh, I got into the wall. Tried something. Okay, so like I said, the top four. Fourth, third, and second in the championship. We got a wreck already. I got squished three wide into the wall. Sidebar got wrecked again. Well, that's not how you want to start off a race. Man, yeah, fourth, third, and second. They'll get tiny prizes. And they'll have to send me their address, and I'll send it to them. And the winner, they will get a nice, big prize. Prizes, I should say. I think I've already kind of planned what I'm going to give them. I'm not going to pit. So 27th, we didn't fall back too much. If you no damage really. If you want to know the points after Martinsville, which was race one in the round of six, go check out the thumbnail again. That's where I put that green flag. 33 laps to go at Texas Motor Speedway. Got big run on the 20 truck. Push him out of the way. He is slow. I'm getting a huge run off Todd Peck. Try not to give him a big bump. He doesn't need it. I think Eddie Benzie's still leading. He has like eight wins this season, but he hasn't won in a while. As I got crunched again. And in the, in the, I think you can say it's a tri -oval. Whoa, the 12 just had to come in front of me. Thank you, buddy. Three wide with Ch with Caleb Rose has been a huge surprise. I set the difficulty to 101. I might just be getting better at this game. Like David Land out here now. <laughs> oh, he'll probably never watch my videos. Gregson, who almost won the, the Richmond Xfinity race and not get a good run. He fell way back because I got a huge run. I got a huge run on AJ Rodriguez and the McKees. Oh, let's talk about my stop motion while we're racing a sec for a second here. It will take a while. I, I've been working on it for about five-ish hours as I go under the apron. Here comes the McKees. Uh, I, I just got one lap down. A three for the run. One. So, uh, not doing too well so far. By, I'm just starting up, so I mean, someone's going around in the back, it looks like. I'm pushing my car up high, but I'm going to still try to get by. Woo! Woo! Three wide at Texas. Coming to the corner. I'm in the middle. Yeah, I just went full throttle at it. I was not going to leave there. As I get down, 17th, not doing good. 
I made the difficulty a little higher on purpose because I've been doing a good a lot lately. Maybe just my last two tracks I love, which I do. Talladega, Martinsville, great tracks. And we still got Phoenix and Homestead after this, so who will win the championship? I might get 15th coming off the corner, or coming into the corner, I should say. We're all about to finish lap 9 and about to start lap 10, so almost a third of the way, a fourth of the way through this, I should say, because. Eh. That's. I was about to say someone was on pit road, but it was the pace car, so no need. Uh, I haven't watched the Xfinity race yet, but the winner got spoiled because I looked on YouTube on one of my people who said Christopher Bell wins the race. Oh. Flip, sorry, I'm gonna have to put in the title that I spoiled the race. And the race got spoiled for me too. I'll put in the title that Richmond Xfinity Race Spoilers. Cause I didn't mean to say that, I'm sorry. Well if you well I'll make out if I forget to put in the title I I'll try to remember. Come off the corner. And also, you might have been noticing lately I've been making thumbnails. I got this amazing app, and now I'm making great thumbnails for you guys. So, hope you guys like that. I have a good thumbnail I've already made for this video. With the points, like I said earlier, it's in the thumbnails. I'm going to get two spots coming into turn one. Or am I? Going up the track. Going up the track. Here comes the 52. Michael three wide. No. RJ Durant is a 352. Stays 15th. I will hopefully go the 13th. Woo! 12 laps done here already. 25 to go at Texas. Who's in front of me? Oh! Marty Flattery is in front of me. He needs to be up further or else he will not make the next round. Kind of like me. Marty Flattery, he's going. Yeah, he just got James Johnson. But he came into the round of six, minus six, coming into Martinsville, I should say. I don't know. I forget the points there. Um, yeah, he, he, he'd be doing a little better. If you come into the chase, out of the chase... You need to do a lot better. So Marty, you better get the boosters on and run, run, run. Off the track. I had to break. And yep, RJ goes by. I'm gonna no, no. Oh man, that hurt my speed a lot. Hey, I'm glad we got good turn three and four though. Well, that's so bad. I was thinking about doing something for Homestead. I get my live stream abilities on my the Larson Fan 842 channel back in like 10 days. What's today? The 21st, 20th? I don't even know. But I know I get them back April 29th or 30th. Can't remember. I'm gonna give the bumper to the 87 a little bit almost. So, I think I'll, I'm going to do a 50% race at Homestead. I, I've done 25% races all year. I want to do a 50% Homestead race. I'm going to use the high lane to get by the 87 if I can. Dang it, car! This car is not my friend. Truck, I should say. I can say car in a few weeks when I start the, the, cup, the cup series. Now I have to block Austin scene jerk. How many laps of fuel? 11 laps of fuel and I have damage all over myself. Why am I going high? Oh man, my right, my right front is bad, bad, bad. I'm trying to get that, the back switch speed. You're welcome, AJ. I only blocked you. But yeah, you might want to be there for the cup sign-ups because I'm going to make sure we have a great cup season. Here we go. 20 to go. Oh my gosh, get out of the grass. 
Let's go on board. Wow, Cindric had to put me into the wall there. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make my early, I'm gonna make an early pit stop. See how this works out. Watch my speed, 45 miles an hour, perfect. Two cans, four tires. I'm gonna put a little more tape on. My car's a little loose. Uh, let's let's increase. My right front's my issue. Put a little more air in it. Here we go. See how my crew can do. Hopefully under 20 seconds. 20.2 seconds. Are you kidding me? It needs to be under 20 seconds. Oh. If you guys watch David Land, he recently posts top 10 things that they need to put in NASCAR Heat 3. I agree with a lot of them. Mostly the number is number 10. That's what I really want to see. All-Star Race. The Duels. Dash for cash, which he didn't put, but I thought of. I'm a lap down. Two laps down. Huh? Well, okay then. Possibly three. I don't know who's behind me. Am I blocking leaders? Holy cow, I'm blocking leaders. I'm two laps down. Oh, those are not leaders. Those are fourth on better. Oh, don't wreck the boss man. So Jason from second has dropped back. Sebastian, fifth. Um, Meme Dog 336, the Boss Man 78 7th, and Todd Gilland 8th, who is um, Sunoco Cup Series. I'll use the top lane on him. I have fresh tires, so I should be able to do some stuff with these guys up ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so. Ah! That was a bad idea for a move, excuse me. My throat. Dang, I'm not gaining. How is that? I just went to the pits and got fresh things. It's like going to the grocery store to get fresh... Not the... What am I saying? It's like going to the auto shop to get fresh new parts. And you got old crappy parts. That's what my tires apparently feel like. Well, these guys are hugging the bottom lane. I'm about to feel like to wreck the boss, man, but that would be not fair. <laughs> Probably stay on the lead lap. I'm going to get under him here so I don't have to worry about wrecking him. Caution as I go by him. Oh, I'm going to go stay a lap down. Oh, this was a horrible plan. Oh, my plan failed. Really badly. Green flag, I don't even care what lane I'm in. I'm really just last. I have the worst tires, too, which really helps. 12 laps to go. I might need to win at Phoenix next. Big hold up in the front. And here we go. Hold up in the front. I completely killed Duzot. Well, James Johnson might be the issue main. As all the cars who are way behind the field but made it out of the wreck are up here. Any chasers in this? I want to win the championship. Move out of my way, Was Twasting. This is actually the best. This is actually the best run this season for Boston Bros. I'm going to flip and wreck the 42, which I really need to get to the front. I might pass whoever has issues, so I ain't gonna finish last today. Unless some whoever had issues is still running. Oh, Travis Quapple, James Johnson out. So yeah, I did pass someone. A lot of the guys who got who did not get caught in the wreck having pretty nice runs. But I can't get by anyone. 
I'm just trying to get the ass out of your lane because these guys are just hugging the bottom. Yep, that's what you get, TJ Bell. Get out of my way. Get out. How did he save that at all? What is this? It's like NASCAR Heat Evolution all over again. Yeah, TJ, you're going to move or I'm going to move you. Choose one. Choose your fate. James coming back on track. I'm just going to basically wreck the 10. Wow, Greenfield having a great run. Seth McKee. I'm not going to wreck him because he's having the run of his career in 17th. Because that car is like the worst car ever on the track out here. I'm going to make him 17th still because I'm a lap down. Go to the very bottom for a second. But yeah, my camera footage has about 35 minutes on it. When I make cup races, I don't know if I'll have enough footage. I might have to make more than one big piece of footage. I might have to make two parts as one basically saying seven to go at Texas. 30 second lap, so we got about three minutes of racing, which is always sad. Because we want 20 million minutes of racing, don't we? Who needs school? Let's go to racing school. No chasers except me had issues today because I tried a strategy and it turned out extremely bad. Well, yeah, the stop motion race, dual one, will be ready for a few days still. Still got two laps to go in it. Don't hit the wall. Thank you, car. Thank you. Dang it, I got into the wall. We're not even at Darlington. I shouldn't be in the wall. Five more laps. My spotter probably should have said that. Crew chief, spotter, whatever. Cup race tonight at um, Richmond. That's what I'm going to be watching. I'm not going to do anything YouTube. I'm not going to look at YouTube for spoilers. I'm just going to watch that race. And that should be a really good, fun race. Because now I love the night races. I'm glad they put that race from morning to, like, not morning, Sunday at 1 o'clock to Saturday night. Because, like, I on my last day of the weekend, I like to do some other stuff besides... Watch a race, sleep, sleep. Oh, don't forget sleep. I have to sleep too. Sundays. Oh, Sundays. But yeah, I only have a few weeks of school left, so we're gonna. I'm about to leave middle school. Hint, hint, that should give you an idea of what grade I'm in. But yeah, I'm about to go into high school next year, which is gonna mean 50 million pounds of homework, I'm guessing. Three to go. I think I just got my best lap, my, my crew chief said. Oh, that's not my best lap. I thought that's what he said. Coming off turn four for two laps to go. Oh yeah, last lap on the lap down, um, no doubt. Coming off turn two. Coming out turn four, I'm gonna finish 31st today. At Texas. Oh, oh, 30. If you'd I pass. I don't even know. Let's look at the chase. Okay, the guy's grading my laps. Press X. Let's see. I finished 30th. Who'd I be? I beat TJ Bell. Okay. And Eddie Benzie is gonna go to the championship for first person to lock in. 
So let's look the other chaser. I finished 30th. I have a horrible day. Let's look for other chasers. Logan Yetzel, I saw second. Fifth, Sebastian Kulon for life. Seventh, Marty Flattery came back. So that's five chasers, I think. I think I'm only missing the boss man 78. So I'll wait for this to come around. And the boss man 78, ninth. Ooh. So, Ed, so Eddie Benzi, ninth win on the year. Out of 22 races, he, he, he's almost won half the races. <sighs> Sorry, I have, I have 21 races as his ninth, ninth win. Yeah, let's go check out our next race we're going to, which is Phoenix. I forgot to unpause this. I already said a lot about the chase. So, Eddie Benzi has locked himself into the championship four. Sebastian Keegan for life. And I know it says plus four. It's not really plus four. Clearly, it says 3,072. He is plus 13, which Sebastian just needs a top 15 day to stay in the chase. The boss man, 78 plus 10. He just needs another top 10. D not, too not too bad today, though. Logan Yetu had a great day finishing second today, plus 9. Then Marty Flattery, minus 9. I am minus 16 because of my horrible day. So I might have to win at Phoenix to lock myself into the championship four. Marty Flattery, if if um the Chasers are running the front, he will probably too. Like usual, if, unless Logan has a problem or the boss man or something has a problem. But let's see how I do at Phoenix. Hold on a second. Lucas Solio 150 at Phoenix. So 150 miles. We are almost done with this season. I don't even know how. I'll be changing my paint scheme for one last time next week unless you guys want to. Oh, um, anyone who wants to send in a paint scheme for my homestead race, please do. I will change it for Phoenix, but I'll also change it for homestead if any of you. Except James Winter. He has sent in so many. I want to see if anyone different can. So as of right now, I think I need to win to get in. So we go to Phoenix. Let's see what happens. This is a Larson Fanny 42 signing off. Hope you enjoyed. Great job, Eddie Benzie, logging yourself into the championship four.